In the United States, there are 34.2 million citizens diagnosed with diabetes. 1.6 million of these cases were type 1. 18,200 of these cases are adolescents or those under 20 years old. Type 1 diabetes is very common but hardly talked about in comparison to its counterpart, type 2. The difference between the two types all boils down to the functioning ability of the pancreas. Type 2 diabetes is when the pancreas is still able to function by producing insulin, but the body either resists it or doesn't produce enough of it. Type 1 is when the immune system attacks the pancreas, causing it to become non-functional or unable to produce any insulin. So you may be wondering, what is insulin anyway? Why is it so important? Insulin is a hormone that is normally released by the pancreas that controls blood glucose levels. To make it simple, whenever you eat, if you don't have diabetes, your body releases insulin to make sure that your blood sugar stays normal. For people with type 1, their body doesn't release this hormone, so they have to do it themselves through injections. The injections do the same thing as your pancreas would, but it can be harder for people with type 1 because they have to calculate how much insulin they need when anyone else's pancreas would do it for them automatically. To start, the person with type 1 would need to prick their finger to see where their blood sugar levels are. Then they would need to calculate how much insulin they need to accommodate for their blood sugar and the food they will be eating through carb counting. Then they would need to either give themselves an injection of insulin 30 minutes before eating to make sure their blood sugar stays stabilized, or they could do this by using an insulin pump. The point is that these people are living with a disease that requires a lot of effort to be healthy. So why make it harder on them by not being educated about it or making them feel ashamed? I personally have dealt with this since I was diagnosed at just one year old. For me, the hardest part about it was how uneducated people were. It made me feel like the odd one out. For so long, I was neglecting it, trying to blend in by not having to prick my finger or pull out my insulin pump. However, if my friends and teachers were more educated about how important it was for me to do these things, I would have been more comfortable with managing it publicly. This is how so many people with diabetes feel, because right now, people don't make it normal. Watch the next movie clip from Mad Money, which shows one of the characters dropping a syringe from her purse for managing her diabetes. Her friends automatically assume the worst. Somebody is definitely peeing in her cup. Here, let me get that for you. Here you go. Here. Thanks. When I was nine years old, I found out that every day for the rest of my life, I would be sticking myself with a needle. Early onset diabetes. Um, Jackie, we need to talk to you about the drugs. Oh, okay. It's none of our business. It we is know. our business. Is this like an intervention? You damn right. As you can see, her friends didn't think about her being diabetic because it is rarely talked about or normalized. They immediately thought she was a drug addict. Less than a third of the population of those diagnosed are able to consistently control and manage their glucose levels. Many struggle with hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia daily. The next movie clip is from Steel Magnolias, in which a woman is going through hypoglycemia episode in which her blood sugar is very low. Notice how disoriented she is. Thank you. Mrs. Eatonton, you have great hair. And your scalp's as clean as Truvy, there's some candy in my purse. I have some. Let's peel. Shelby, Shelby, hold on. Clary's getting you some juice. Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. Should I get her a cookie? No, the juice is better. Shelby, you need some juice. You need some juice. Stop it, Mama. Drink the juice. Please drink the juice. No! Oh, sorry, you didn't bring your purse. No, you didn't. No, here you go. Hypoglycemia happens when someone gives themselves too much insulin, and hyperglycemia is when the blood sugar gets too high from not having enough. There is so much more that we should be educating people about when it comes to type 1 diabetes. But the main point is to be nice to these children, make them feel comfortable with their disease so that they can take care of themselves in the right ways. If we can normalize diabetes, everyone will feel more comfortable to be healthy. So please, encourage good diabetes management and be kind to one another.